Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapnewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel for another LumaFusion tutorial. So this one is going to be about how to do a picture inside of a picture. And listen, if that just sounds too simple for you, you already know how to do that, then this video is not gonna be for you. This is more for people who I think probably just installed LumaFusion either on their iPad or iPhone, and they need to learn you know, some very basic things. And by the way, if that's you, you know, I do all of my tutorials with an overhead camera. I just think it's so much easier to follow along that way. So if that's the way you like to learn, you might consider hitting subscribe to my channel and the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I make a new video. And by the way, I've done a complete LumaFusion tutorial. It's like 25 minutes long. I teach you how to import your footage, add titles, cut, edit, color grade, make thumbnails, and upload it to YouTube all in that one video. So if you're just learning LumaFusion, that might be a really good video for you to watch. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into picture inside of a picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch LumaFusion. And you should already have an idea of the two different video clips that you wanna work with. Now I store everything on my iCloud Drive, so I'm just going to pull my video from there. I'll just use one of my cats, here we go. Drop that onto the main timeline and it's immediately going to go all the way to the end because it anticipates you're going to add another clip after that. So I wanna go ahead and go back to the beginning and we do that by going to this little button right there that's gonna take us right back to the beginning. Now what you wanna do, whenever you have a picture inside of a picture, you need two different layers to work with. So grab the other image that you wanna have appear inside of your main image. So this is going to be your timeline. This is going to be the main line that you're working with in editing. Now the other image that I dropped down is a picture. And whenever you import a picture into LumaFusion, it is going to be two seconds. And I want that to be my picture inside of a picture. So I just want to expand that. And you can do that just by dragging it out to be as long as you'd like to have it appear. Okay, so now what we need to do is edit this so that it fits inside of this video clip. And how we do that is that we double tap on that top layer. And that is going to bring us to the properties window of that particular clip. So what we want to do now is decide, do we want to just shrink this down to make it a picture inside of a picture? Or do we want to do a little bit of cropping first? So if you want to crop your image in any way, you need to go to cropping. And in there, this gives you complete control over your image. If you want to shrink it down so that it's like that, we can even make it smaller if you want it to be a perfect square. That's all up to you. But I just want to leave it the size that it is. So what we need to do to make this the picture inside of the picture is to make this whole image smaller. And how we do that is that we go to fit mode. Now, do you see how these little dots appeared around your image? All you have to do is just grab the image in the corner and just pull it until it is the very size that you want it to be. I like it to be like that, that looks good. And that's it you guys, let's hit the reverse button out of here. And that's how you do a picture inside of a picture. But let's say instead of having the picture just abruptly appear and disappear, what we can do is a fade in, fade out. So let's go back to the properties window of this. So let's hit this reverse button. This is going to take us right back to the very beginning of that clip. Now what we wanna do is go to blending. The very first thing that we want to do is to grab the opacity and move it down to 0%. Now we want to drop a keyframe right there. And we do that by hitting the plus symbol right there. And you see we're at three seconds, 0.22. So what I'm gonna do is go to about four and a half seconds, or maybe a little longer, about five seconds. Now what I wanna do is drag this back up to 100% and it should automatically drop its own keyframe. You wanna make sure that every time you do something that it is dropping its own keyframe. And if it doesn't, you have to go ahead and add it yourself. Like right now, we're going to add another keyframe because we want to bring this all the way down. Let's see where this ends. 
at eight and a half seconds. So let's go to about seven seconds. Now we're going to add another keyframe. Now we're going to pull this all the way to the end. We're going to drag the opacity back to zero and that is going to automatically add a keyframe. Let's back out of this and see how this looks. There you go. So instead of just popping in and popping out, you're having that image just nicely fade in and fade out. Well, I thank you so much for joining me in this picture inside of a picture tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. But until then, wear your sunblock.